This is Channel 3, WBTV in Charlotte, North Carolina. The metropolis of the two Carolinas, the spearhead of the New South. Serving the nation's 19th market, WBTV is owned and operated by the Jefferson Standard Broadcasting Company, a subsidiary of the Jefferson Standard Life Insurance Company. WBTV is the Carolina's pioneer television station. Our studios are located at 1 Julian Price Place. Our full-power transmitter is located on Spencer Mountain in Gaston County. WBTV serves an audience of four and one-quarter million with network, film, and local programs tailored to their tastes. Who's calling, please? Carolina calling. Put them on. <laughs> Seven o'clock. Once again, it's time to rise and shine with Arthur Smith and all the Cracker Jacks with Carolina Calling. With songs for the Crossroads Quartet, Tommy Fail, Ray and Lois Atkins, Little Wayne Has, Dave and Jim. And now to greet you with a smile, here's the head man of all these Cracker Jacks, Arthur Smith. All righty. Thank you, Jim Patterson, and what a wonderful day has dawned here in the Carolinas again. I suppose getting up music is always in order to start the program, and that's what we propose to do. The Barnyard Symphony will be our first selection <laughs> today. We want you to picture, if you will, and this is where we got the idea for this song, really. A bunch of chickens out in the backyard, you know, with the pasture enclosure or the fence enclosure. And pick out one special rooster and watch him kind of strut across the yard and then uh, stop and scratch and look back. We think you'll see all of these in the third movement of this thing <laughs> that we call... What's the name of it? Chicken Strut. Chicken Strut. <laughs> It's exactly three minutes and 30 seconds after seven in the morning. The temperature is 47 degrees. The outlook for today is for fair and warmer. Should get up to a high of about 67. No rain in sight, and that's good because we've had plenty recently. Right early in the program, we want to turn you over to the counselors of the airwaves. And as you know, here are the boys that solve the problems of the Piedmont. Whatever your problem, just so it isn't a financial one, the solution is here. Bring them to the feet of our counselors of the airwaves, and they'll solve it. This is the Dr. Crane and Mary Hayworth of television. Now, these boys counsel via the big screen only, not in person, not through the mail, but here they are to solve somebody's problem. 
Ralph Smith, Fudd Fail, the counselors of the airways. Sanctuary. It's good to be here in our right minds this morning. Thank you very much. We have a pretty long letter here, Ralph, from Sylvia, North Carolina. Well, Sylvia's an awfully nice person, I understand. No, this is Sylvia, North Carolina. Oh, that's a city. Yeah. Oh, well, read her then. The lady read is letter. Mrs. Fortress Tucker Bates. Fortress Tucker Bates. Well, it's nice to hear from Mrs. Bates this morning. We had a letter last week, you know, that told us about a fellow named Peg Tucker. Yes. How Peg had lost his leg. Ports, the weather, and farm reports. A lot of entertainment between 7 and 8 o'clock, and it's clobbered the competition for over three years, not only in ratings, but in sales. I'm Jim Patterson. Carolina Calling starts my day. If you'll excuse me, I have a quick change. 